Bill France, president of NASCAR. Please make him welcome, if you would, please, Mr. Bill France. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tammy. Isn't this a great day? At this time, I'm very fortunate on behalf of motorsports to have one of the great days that anybody in motorsports could ever have. And as a citizen of Daytona Beach, to have the honor that I have today, and that's to introduce our Grand Marshal, the President of the United States, Mr. Ronald Reagan, who will be escorted by the winner of the race today, Mr. Richard Petty. Here they are. Two champions. Welcome to NASCAR in Daytona Beach. Congratulations, Richard. All right. Well, thank you all very much. I, um, this has been a fantastic 4th of July. And, uh, I've enjoyed certainly everything with, that's been, that I've seen since I've been here. And with the skill and the daring that we witnessed out there and the pursuit of excellence that those drivers, and I mean all of them that are here, uh, made stock car racing a major American sport. And I know that each of them probably is proud and has every right to be, and we're proud of them. I want to take a special word to say a, or say a special word about Bill France Sr. Now, Bill France Jr., yes, and I know what he's done, but I think that, I guess it was Bill Sr. that got things really started. And then I've heard since I've been here that he's the grand old man of stock car racing. Now, he's on. Where did they get this old man stuff? He's only 74. I tell you, the way I read old is, old is 15 years from where you are now. But seriously, to Bill Sr. and Bill Jr., they've accomplished so much and they've added so much pepper to the American scene. I think I can understand why stock car racing is so popular. Americans have always cherished mobility, and we greatly admire innovation. And by combining man and machine, stock car racing brings out the, boast, the best of both of these American impulses. I appreciate all the work that goes into those precision machines also, because it makes you realize that the race is won in the garage as well as on the track. So congratulations to all of those fine, those workers out there that were keeping those competing cars out on the track. Now Richard Petty, congratulations to all the others for a demonstration of skill and courage. This race puts the driver to the test. You gotta keep cool under great pressure. I was told that when I was up there watching it. Keeping cool sitting so close to a hot engine isn't easy. As I found out when Richard Petty came up and I met him, I thought he'd fallen in someplace on the way. You, you, you need intense concentration and stamina. And it's amazing to see them out there bumper to bumper at 200 miles an hour. We've all done a little bumper-to-bumper -bumper driving. I know you have to if you live in Los Angeles with the freeways, but you're not going quite that fast. So 
Richard Petty, your victory is something for which you, though you and those who worked with you can rightfully be proud. I know how you all feel, too, because uh, I'm in a little race myself this year. But to be a little serious, today we're celebrating our country's independence and freedom. Our founding fathers gave us a wonderful gift 208 years ago, a free country, a country where no one need live in fear, and where everyone can speak and pray and live as he or she sees fit. As we commemorate our country's birth and its freedom, I hope we can take a little while today to breathe a little prayer of thanks for the great blessings that we enjoy in America. I'm certain that if Jefferson and Adams and Washington were here with us today, they'd be sharing in the festivities. And if Patrick Henry were here, from what I've read about him, he'd have been out on a track with one of the cars. <laughs> Our founding fathers were kind of gutsy, and we'd better not forget that. These patriots and all the others, rich and poor of every race and religion, who worked and struggled and sometimes fought and died for our freedom are with us in spirit today. And I, again, I just want to thank you all for letting me spend these few minutes with you. And God bless you and God bless America. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Petty. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to promise, no speeches for me, okay? I want uh, our last year's champion, Bobby Allison, uh, he and I have something to present to the president. Bobby? Mr. President, we'd like to present you this uh, flag that's an that's, uh, indication of our competition here today, signed by all the competitors, and uh, it means a lot to us, and we hope it'll mean a lot to you. Thanks for being here with us. President, we're going to show you a race car, what one of them really looks like close right here on the left, and uh, it's, it's a great day. Thank you very much. Give him two arms to cling to and something warm to come to when nights are cold and lonely. Stand by your bed. How do you follow that? Every now Come on. 
Dave Wade and Kenny, from Susie Susan, Faye and me. We'd like to stay forever, we don't want to leave you never, but there's some other place we got to be. I got in Arizona, New York State, and Oklahoma, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Maine. Way down in Louisiana, down in Alabama, for all of them we got to do time and time again. Way out in Colorado, North Dakota, and if we get lucky, then once again we'll begin to pass. Please don't you forget us. We'd stay if they would let us. But just remember we're 